I'd like to welcome you to the Media Center here at the Yokohama Tire LPGA Classic. I'm with the current leader, leader Paula Rito, finished 13 under, birdie on your last hole. So what was going through your head today on that course? You know what, I um, was just really patient with myself. Um, I hit a couple good irons, uh, especially early in the round. I hit um, a couple close, so they mm -hmm. were like five feet. So that was nice, got the momentum going pretty early. And um, yeah, it was nice to bring the last hole as yesterday as well and today. So that was really nice. And I mean, I'm just trying to stay patient and not think too much, just, you know, simple things. Okay, you did mention yesterday that your relationship with your caddy and you have been, you know, getting better throughout the season. So it's kind of coming together and you're sticking to a game plan. What was the game plan coming into your play this morning? Well, um, so yesterday we did pretty well. Um, I mean, what I mean with game plan is like just uh, what to hit on each hole, uh, depending what the wind's doing and things like that. Not not changing all of a sudden from a driver to a three woods, just stick into it and, and going for it. So we've been doing really well in that. And, um, you know, we've been clicking with uh, exactly what he's thinking and I'm thinking is pretty much the same. So that's been helping, um, you know, keeps things easier, and, you know, not second guessing yourself all the time. But um, so that's been helping with us a lot. Okay, now I mentioned you had birdied your last hole today. You also birdied the 18th yesterday. What is um, you know, beneficial about you finishing strong, and has it been in your game plan? Um, I don't know. Can't, can't remember. But, I mean, it, it's nice. Uh, it helps me, you know, sets me up mm -hmm. for the next day, and, um, you know, just the momentum is good. And uh, it's always nice finishing with a birdie, you know, so I enjoy it. Of course. Now, I don't know if you guys all know, but Paula didn't start playing golf until about the age of 16. Um, very rare, and so I want to, of course, pick your brain about that. What made you start golf, and why did you start, you know, what they consider in the industry so late? So, um, so I moved from South Africa with my family in uh, 05, so um, we moved to Florida, and I used to play field hockey and ran track, mm -hmm. so I tried to um, start, a, start a team over here in uh, Florida, and uh, the track wasn't, uh, the field hockey wasn't as good. So my dad used to play golf, so he's like, well, why don't you just try golf? So going in my freshman year of high school, I'm like, okay, let me try golf. So I, you know, I loved it and ended up just dropping track and field and hockey and um, just kept playing and loved the game. And then I, you know, found out, well, you can get scholarship to go here, there, whatever. You know, you have a pretty much open door in front of you. And I just, you know, had, uh, was in the good hands with a couple of the coaches that I work with, and they just put me on the right track. Now, she actually went to Purdue on a college scholarship. Yeah. Um, they won the national championship, and is that uh, 2010? Is that right? Uh, yes, 2010, I think so, yeah. Okay, and you did it. You finished individually third, or? Um? No, that was my, so that was my freshman year. I, I, I finished a little down, down in the pack, uh, mm -hmm. probably like T40 or something okay, right okay. there, yeah. So it was good experience. I mean, uh, the girls uh, that I um, teamed with, they were great, great, you know, all-Americans, and, you know, that also helped me, pushed me to always do better and better in college. And, yeah. 